My parents were very vibrant people. My mother was an artist. My dad was a scientist. And animals were always a part of his life. He raised a squirrel, a crow, even a lion cub. He was truly Dr. Doolittle, no question. Do you know how long you two have been married now? Do you? No. 69 years. 69 oh, years. That's right. <laughs> when my wife and I realized that both of my parents were on their journey with dementia, we sold our house and we moved in with my parents. I brought my poor wife back to the same bedroom that I had left when I was 18. It was surreal. The strength of an actual caregiver is incredible. It's one of the hardest things a person can do. So when I ask them, please join these studies, we're asking a lot of them, but this is something that re-energizes them. They're a part of something bigger. I want to be a part of ensuring that other people don't go through what my parents have gone through and what my wife and I have gone through caring for them. Tart, tasty, uh, town. People so fear dementia, so fear Alzheimer's, they don't know what to say. A caregiver can become easily isolated. We create a space where people feel comfortable to share what they're going through and help other people. Not only am I with the researchers who understand, I'm also with other participants who get it. And that's helpful. When I express something, it's just like, yeah, and this is how it was for me. People who volunteer in research studies do get an extra layer of medical care and knowledge. We educate you on healthy lifestyles, on diet, on exercise, so that you leave not just giving to us, but that you leave feeling more empowered to make changes. I've lost 40 pounds. I sleep better. I'm taking far better care of myself than I ever have before. From all that dwell below the telling my parents their stories, the stories of their lives, and taking them to places reminds them of their past and activates their brains. They're in the moment with me. It relaxes them and makes them happy. Well, yeah. I wouldn't have known how to do this had I not been a part of the clinical trials. I'm grateful for that. <laughs>